Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Aaron here to give you episode six of the challenge Total Madness. And I apologize for making this video later than later, because yeah, <laughs> normally after an episode, I eat dinner, I watch the episode, eat dinner, and then record. Well, yesterday basically was a dinner. So I came home from work. Um, every time I come home from work, I'm like maybe like 30 minutes late from the show. So after work, I watch the episode. Then I eat dinner, then I record, but yesterday was my friend wanted to talk to me, so I called her right after um, right after dinner, and I was getting tired, then I just eventually went to bed, and then this morning, I had work, so yeah, now, I'm, um, now here I am, uh, now here I am finishing up what I should, should have started, well, not finishing up, but like starting what I should have done yes last night, so anyway, let's get to it, so last episode, we see Jay, he was hurt, coming from that, uh, from, from that, uh, that that uh ball that uh ball game with uh Rogan like Rogan slammed the guy hard down like it was he did not look good like here's the thing with me it's like everyone's like oh my god oh my god oh my god it's cra it's crazy and I'm just like myself I mean granted they had they had no idea what was gonna happen in the elimination but it's almost like that y'all sent him down there so y'all kind of like kind of set this up like y'all kind of set this up so it's like yeah you kind of you kind of bump on yourselves not really but it's like you know come on so yeah so. It was, it just didn't look good. So in the next round he tried to um I think we all saw how he could not Rogan was kinda destroy him. So he had to instead of just going in and trying to score the ball, he just like shoot it shoot it from all all the way over there. Some of them looked like they they were pretty good. It was about to go in, but it just couldn't and you know <laughs> all of his rounds were all zero points. So as Rogan's it's gonna be Rogan starting to go on offense, but um, Jay had to ask, yo, yo, what were the rules again? What's going on? Like, the concussion was bad, so he was not medically cleared, and eventually he couldn't he couldn't compete. He had to um, surrender, and that kind of sucks because he he didn't go out on his terms. Like, it's medic, he, couldn't medic, he wasn't medically cleared, so it's like, can't go on. And it, it, here's the thing that kind of, it didn't answer my question now, is that they had two red schools. How does that work? So I thought he maybe he loses one, and then possibly, um, and then possibly, sorry, my friend just texted me, and then possibly, um, can still be saved, but no, apparently, two of, uh, two of, um, two of the, um, two of the, uh, schools go to Rogan now, I think, I'm, I'm not sure if he gets them both, I wasn't quite sure how to look at it again, but he has the red score, and yay, Rogan won his first elimination, you know, I just thought it was a puzzle way of doing it. And here's the thing. Right after it was all over, everyone's like talking uh, smack on Jay and yada, yada, yada. Like, it was just, it was like, dang, y'all talking smack as soon as the guy leaves. I thought you were in the stripes. And like, hey, here's the, I like Tori. But then she says, oh, you know, if I see a weak person, I'm going to go, go, go attack it. And here's the thing. This goes out to everybody in the challenge because everyone is a bunch of hypocrites. I remember see, seeing last season when she was going to go in to elimination in World of War II. She's all saying, oh, you guys are all playing a scare game. Yada, yada, yada. And then she says, well, I'm going to go the weakest person. I'm going to go. And I'm like, yo, that's playing a scare game right there. Like, and then she says, oh, I'll go in. Well, if it's a puzzle, oh, don't put me like, come on, y'all. Y'all need to stop with this snap smack and be like, oh, y'all played a scare game when you've been y'all been something happens to you y'all want to like flip around and play the scare game like it's it's like come on like i still like them but it's like everyone kind of is like a hypocrite in this one and here's the thing that bothers me with this episode is that it was kind of slow like yeah you have you had the cliffhanger cliffhanger from the um from the uh from the uh jay and rogan battle here's the thing they didn't have to lay it as a cliffhanger like they, they didn't because i mean like Nothing all that bad hat was extreme right after, you know what I mean? Like, he just, they could have had that, you know, him him not being medical cleared, like, in that same episode. Like, I just thought it was a, it was a waste of space right there, in my opinion. I think it, most people can agree with that. And not only that, like, a lot of this stuff was just, you know, was drama, like, unnecessary drama. Like, it, this episode was slow, like, because right after that, you know, it wasn't medically cleared. People are talking on, uh, talking on, um, Jay. Now, you know... Kayla is sad of what's going on with what she just did. And here's the thing. I don't feel bad for, sorry for her because people want to be like, well, my manager that watches this show, 
She's like, you gotta understand, you're in a bunker, things go, go, things go crazy. No, I'm not, that's an excuse. Like, you've been doing this, like I said, I'm not, I can't really speak on someone's relationship, but it's like, y'all been together for three years. You mean the time you're gonna let that go because y'all going crazy in a bunker? Like, if you can't handle that, maybe you should be in a relationship, or maybe she didn't go on a challenge. Like, you know this game messes with you mentally. And here's the thing. Bananas, he's going out with Morgan right now. Well, I don't think they officially made it clear, but it's like he's with his girlfriend. You don't see him like freaking out. Um, Corey, he's got, I know he's got a girlfriend. Granted, they're not married yet, but you know, he's, you don't see him freaking out like trying to talk to another person. And then you have Jenna, who we're going to get to, we're going to get to a little bit with Jenna pretty soon. But it's just not an excuse to like cheat on your boyfriend. Like I said, for three years, y'all live together. And then you do this against for like, and, and, and this, here's the thing, this goes on bare too. Like, bro, you have a girlfriend at home, and you want to, you pretty much open. You say open, yeah, I got a girlfriend at home, and it's like, you like, come on, how does he think she's gonna feel? Like, everyone knows that like, Bear is just not the type of guy that you like. You want to be in a relationship with. I mean, okay, I'm not gonna say that because I'm pretty much attacking his character, but it's like, bro, like, you came on the show, don't you have a girlfriend, and you kind of talk to somebody else about it like that? Like, it's just. It amazes me, and I seen this one girl. If you go on Twitter, she's talking about the whole Kayla and Bear thing. It's like, if you're in a relationship, you probably should have gone. And shouldn't be on the challenge because y'all are just, y'all just, y'all just can't handle it, man. Like it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. So yeah, so then we get to, uh, then we get to uh, Jenna. She's trying to call Zach, but <clears throat> she's not answering. Then I think she's talking to her friend Nicole. I'm not sure what, what was her name, Nicole. But apparently, Zach was mad at who was that Janice DMs from two years ago when they weren't together. So why is he mad? And here's the thing: like I said, I can't speak in a relationship, but like I'm, from what the outside is what we're seeing. From what we see, Jenna tries so much, and then you know Zach would just say some shit. And then, like pretty much, Zach would make it seem like it was Jenna's fault. We just does nothing. We saw what happened in the first War of the Wars when um like uh. Um, Amanda came at Zach saying he had a bumble and stuff like that. Then Zach made it seem like it was Jenna's fault, saying they were done. Like, wait, what? And then this, a DM from two years ago when they weren't together. You're not together. Like, why does it matter from two years ago? It, it just, it's insane. So then, you know, as we're seeing, you know, Jenna and Kayla having their issues, Tori brings up a good point. It's like, and, and Jordan was saying, yo, we got used this to, um, we gotta use this to take advantage of these guys. Like we can, uh, like their their heads will not be in it. Like so, we sent to elimination. They will be like, hmm, they, they it might be difficult for them. So yeah, I mean that's a good strategy right there because their head will not be in it. Like we guys, I mean I said, I'm not calling it a scare game. Well, it is kind of a little bit scared, but like you gotta take your advantages. You gotta take your advantages. Which I okay, I'll I'll say this. Don't ever call someone for saying you're, they're playing a scary game and you try to take an easy way out of it. Now, granted, I agree with taking an easy way out of it, but just don't say you're this person's playing a scary game and you're kind of doing the same thing. So that's just my thing. So yeah, good strategy. So then we get back to, you know, Bear and Kayla. Now everyone's, you know, trying to like make a scene about it. Like uh, West, the manipulator, and you have Bananas. The pot story. They, you saw them in. You saw the. Their, you saw the description right next to their names as they're trying to. They're trying to like make a little bit of a, a love, like a love room for Kayla and Bear, and then, oh my god! And then for them, how savages they are. They put the pictures of Kayla and her boy up on the ceiling to make it seem like, oh, this is what you messed up on. And Kayla goes into their room. She's like, oh, this is kind of cute. Then she's like, oh, it's not funny. And she thought Bear had something to do with it. And she's pissed off, throwing the thing, throwing the milk around. And Wes says, hey, I don't feel bad for Kayla because you messed this up. And here's the thing. Is it what I have done? I've done that? No. But in the challenge, this shit happens all the time. Like, it's not going to stop. Like, I like Kayla, but she set herself up for this. Like, this is on her. I think she's got a new boyfriend now. I'm not sure. But anyway, but here's the thing. People were talking about this. Her hug up a bear way before the challenge even started. So clearly, you know, with Twitter and everything, they're gonna spoil a lot of things for you guys. So yeah. So that's about on Kayla's part. Like, I don't feel bad for her at all. You know, like I said, this is part where like I said, the, the, the episode is still going on, still being long. I'm like until we get to the challenge. A lot of wasted unnecessary drama. And then Bear says, I treat I'm like looking at my notes while I'm like speaking to you guys. And Bear says, I treat everyone with respect. 
Okay, we're gonna go to the, <laughs> the next topic. So then, you know, we see Jenna, Zach finally picks up, and then, you know, it's unnecessary argument drama. Like, it, once again, it's making Jenna seem like the bad person when she didn't really do anything. And then it's thinking, like, oh, should I go home now? Like, because if Jenna goes home, it maybe seems like, you know, Zach won't be here. This is an opportunity that a lot of people would kill for. So it, it's just, and it, it, it's just, it's just, oh my God. But here's the thing, though. These, they're getting they're engaged now so it's like whatever what's going on right now what we're seeing it's like okay well they're engaged now so it's like it doesn't really really matter at this point you know what i mean it's like let's say oh well they're engaged now so they managed to pass through all the bullshit so i mean happy for those guys though i really am so, so now basically the targets on jenna and kayla so then we see <laughs> a sneaky west talking to bailey and uh so hey so apparently they've had their lines from the start because uh Wes and Bailey are from the same city. So, you know, they had a secret alliance. And yeah, he has his alliance with Benassi. He also has his backup alliance with Swaggy and, um, and uh, Bailey. So, yeah, as you know, Queen, Queen B, I think that's, I think that's Bailey's name is Queen B or Queen Bailey. I don't know, but the Queen, you know, they have, they have two queens and that's uh, Cam and Bailey. So, yeah, that's their, uh, that's their new, new alliance. So, yeah, it's their, it's their secret alliance. So now they have to try to get the tribunal so they can even say you know when uh jenna or kayla or nani and one of the holy trinity alliance or whatever alliance whatever but anyway, so yeah so now we get to the challenge finally called it's called fast and furious uh to your acts of yo i'm hearing rumors that someone wants to quit and i think we all that was all kind of happen that was kind of um uh, that was gonna be uh, that was gonna that was gonna happen. That was gonna be the question of the day right there. But no one quit, which is nice. So we get to the uh, competition, and you know, this one was like you know, uh, this was pretty cool. Like they're on a moving car, moving a truck or a truck, and they have to grab puzzle pieces, grab ten puzzle pieces, and then climb up, and then um, and then solve the puzzle piece from there. But it's kind of difficult because you have to wait. It's like. If you're up higher, you're up lower, like the weight kind of controls your partner or whatever. So yeah, it looked like a good chance, but here's the thing. From the start, it was um, it was Jordan and Nani and they killed it along with Bailey. I think Bailey and Dave, but they didn't finish in time, but Jordan and uh, Nani killed it in that first one. Like it was just, it was just, yeah, destroyed. But then other people couldn't do it. Like Josh and Tori dropped their first puzzle piece toward, like, and Josh didn't know towards the end. Like a lot of people, Dropped the puzzle. Some people couldn't even finish it at the time. Like it was a lot. It was only between three people. But here was the crazy thing. What was what happened was uh when an Anissa and Nelson and they, I I got some. I'm pretty sure you already know, know about the news about this. When Anissa and Nelson went, like uh Anissa dropped her piece and then you know Nelson was pissed. He was going at her. But it was kind of a reason why. Now before now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna before I get to him um, saying some facts. He was saying in his Instagram live video, he said when when Nani and Jordan like killed it, and he said, oh, don't worry about it. Jordan and Nani got this. And, and Nelson is like, wait, what? So then he, Nelson says, you know, it, it's cool because everyone's, it's your plan to get, get the, you know, the, the everyone go up and try to get, uh, go up against Jenna. That's everyone's plan, right? Because, you know, she's not mentally into it right now. Like she, but pretty much Nelson said what was going on. But here's the thing with, like Nelson was like, Nelson had set up a, a prime example of when keeping it real goes wrong. So it's like, I get it, he keeps it real, but it's like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, he was coming at a knee, so like, he just couldn't hold it back anymore. He's like, he's getting tired of seeing all this, uh, all this BS that's going on. It's like, yo, man, like, I had it, and I'm like saying to Nelson, oh, man, keeping it real goes wrong, bro. Like, you need to stop, because it's, it's just to make a bigger target on him right there. So then we also have bananas and uh melissa kill it but they're i think they're they're up against bear and casey they finished too but melissa and bananas uh finished the first and you know melissa showed me some right there you know i was very impressed with her so yeah but, but then it comes down to the last person was uh last team to go was uh was uh bailey and jordan and here was a, it i forget who they went up against wes and kayla was it I, I, i'm not sure but here was the here was the um the crazy thing about it was that they had all their puzzle pieces right now granted Bailey missed a few so that was kind of an excuse for Jordan to do but as they were setting up their puzzle pieces it's like Jordan because Jordan went twice by the way because it was une it was uneven but it's like Jordan went twice he should have been able to kill but then you see you know 
him messing up. Apparently, Bailey tweeted that I didn't see the tweet. That, that is that Jordan kind of dropped down the piece or whatever. Because here's the thing: he's trying to look out for Tori. He, I think he wants Tori to win more than he wants one because you know I said I think Tori got screwed in the last Water Worlds and Water Worlds too, and I felt she definitely did. So he's trying to look out for it. And, you know, shout out, for, shout out to him for looking out for his fiance. Like, I mean, like why would he not do that? So he's playing. So it's like. Now, Bailey got mad because she saw what was going on. But, you know, Jordan can easily just say, hey, you you um, you um, didn't get all your post because the first time Nani did. So, like, I understand. Like, that was a good excuse to use, but we know what but we know what his true end game was. So, here's the thing, though. Um, So, that's no surprise. Uh, Nani and Jordan won. Well, it was, it was them, really. It was between them and Bananas and Melissa, but... Jordan and Benaz, Jordan and uh, Nani won, so they got picked another person of the Fortnite Tribunal. So she, Nani picked Jenna just, you know, so they can really save Jenna because, you know, it's, um, she's been to talk around the whole entire thing, or the whole entire episode, because, you know, for her relationship with Zach. So, but, I mean, that doesn't mean she still can't go in, but who knows? So then it pretty much answered, you know, them picking the tri them having the tribunal. But here, here's what concerns me, though. Not because, great. we've seen some episodes like this where it's like, okay, after the challenge is kind of over. But here's my concern about this now is that it, is it going to be like another final reckoning where it's like, you know, episode, like a challenge, episode, and it's over. Then elimination, next episode, over, challenge, episode. Like, it's not, not have a challenge and elimination in the same episode. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. Because like I said, the whole Jay and Rogan having a ch Jay having get checked out and all that type of stuff like that could have happened in the first like in the first part in like last episode we just wasted enough time on that and then you know the the uh the dumb drama that happened as well too like this episode was very slow and I was having a hard time like oh god I'm thinking it's not I think we're not gonna have a, a second elimination in this episode so yeah I hope I just really hope it, it doesn't turn out to be like that like I mean Graham as we get back it's gonna be nominations and here's the thing after this episode they showed the mid-season trailer already and this is only episode six i'm pretty sure it's episode six like, correct me if i'm wrong well i'll correct myself if i'm wrong yeah it's only episode six and now we now they're already showing the mid-season trailer it's like a little bit concerned right now like where is this heading and the mid-season trailer is cool too they didn't show too much like i said the challenge i'm i'm just I just always want them to show like maybe like one trailer and just a mid-season trailer. Okay, I mean that's been going on for years, so they're gonna do a mid-season trailer. As long as they don't show too much, I'm happy with that. But yeah, man, that's episode six. I mean, I thought this episode was very slow, as I said. I just didn't. I just thought we just wasted a lot. That we wasted a lot of time with the unnecessary drama and the elimination. I'm very concerned about this. So. <laughs> hopefully, I so said, hopefully we get a, uh, uh then it's going to be nominations. I mean, it depends on how, on how fast episode seven goes. We're going to go straight to nominations. Then like, it, like I said, it depends on the speed of the episode. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, you know, subscribe if you like more. And also, you know, um, I said this before, my Shoots of Rage 4 online co-op is be put on hold right now because... My friend's not feeling well. I'm gonna check on him, see if he's feeling better. Not to say, oh, hey, let's play, let's play and play, like, just to make sure he's like, he's good right now. So, yeah. And also, um, there, we'll, I'll be doing an Eagles video talking about their schedule this weekend because the schedule gets up later tonight. Now, actually, by the time I post this video, this schedule probably will be posted already. So, yeah. Like I said, you guys have a good one. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Be safe, also, be safe during this whole pandemic, too.